Hey, 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 this is Beverly Bozeman. I am the creator of the YouTube channel about her ministry and the recently released best-selling book, Diary of a First Lady, Shiloh Grammer. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Be sure and share this broadcast with your friends and your family. I really do appreciate it. And I have a little bit of information that I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope that you can... Um, Get what you need out of it. Basically, it's simple stuff, but um, I did it and it worked. So the broadcast is entitled How to Take the Medicine of Truth. And um, for a long time, when somebody would tell me something about myself and it would be the truth, regardless of the delivery and regardless of who said it, I felt some kind of way about it. Sometimes I had an attitude and sometimes I would have a fit and go off on them. You know, it wasn't nothing, you know, violent or whatever. But why do you feel like you get to tell me when you're doing da 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 Just let them have it, right? This was like in my 20s. But now, hey, Nikisha, that was in my 20s, you know, New Jack City days. But now I am, well, mature, so I don't go off like that but sometimes I do feel some kind of way because truth be told I feel like some people ain't got a right to tell nobody nothing you know you ain't doing right how you gonna tell somebody else they're not doing right but that's you know I digress so um how to take the medicine of truth just a couple of points and then I'm gonna let you guys go one of the first things that um I did was I recognized the person who was delivering the medicine right when i was little i get sick my mom will give me some medicine if i was staying with my grandma my grandma would give me some medicine so nowadays when people give us medicine we have to recognize or acknowledge who it is and what they are to us because if somebody loves you and cares about your well-being and they tell you something that you're doing wrong or something that's not good for you and you know you're not seeing it you got to acknowledge that they mean they mean for you to be better in life or they want you to stop partaking in habits or um, personality traits that are not good for you. And the thing with that is sometimes it's not delivered the way we would like for it to be delivered. And we might think that they are coming down on us or even being jealous but they can you know see stuff that we can't see you know from the outside looking in and one of the best ways to handle that is to smile or be pleasant about it say thanks and let it go there's no why do you feel like you get to tell me that don't do like me honey and have a fit and get yourself in some hot water now the other the other end of the spectrum regarding that is people who don't like you will also tell you the truth. And when that happens, the best thing to do is to just, hmm, okay. Or don't say nothing, but always look pleasant about it. You know, because when people try to tell you about yourself or help you out, but it's malicious intent, or it's a, 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 a sideways compliment. They know exactly what they're doing. They want to get a reaction out of you that'll make you look like a dummy, make you look like a hothead, make you look like you are immature, and make them look like the good guy. Especially at work. Oh, Jesus. No lie. You got some people, they're just miserable. They are just miserable, hateful, evil grimy low down dingy demons and they will try you to the third power they will try you in every way they can and as long as they can and as hard as they can because they know that they're going to get certain reactions out of you right but if you smile okay or just smile and don't say nothing and walk off or mm, you know don't give them what they want they don't know what to do they have no idea of what to do. They will go have to go and take a break and scratch their head. Why didn't that work? Because normally we into it by now. 
what's what's wrong with her? Why she ain't? You know what I'm saying? She tell me about my stuff. And 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 what they'll do is they'll strategize so that when you are in front of certain people or in front of uh, clients or customers or the email is going to be seen by certain people, they'll they'll dig at you. They'll try you and get you hemmed up to where you get written up or you get fired or you get demoted or you miss out on an opportunity to get a promotion or you'll look like you're unstable, you know. But if you don't respond like they want you to, they looking like the dummies. They looking like Patty Patty. When you don't participate, you just, hmm, or, okay. That's what it is. So you have to recognize who it is that's giving you the medicine and respond the same way all the time, even if it's a hurtful truth. Because some truths about us, they hurt regardless of who it comes from because it might be something you thought you had already overcome or it was something that you never knew about yourself and it makes you feel bad just smile let it go on do whatever okay all right and then the second part um or another piece how to take the medicine of truth is to do like the older people say um in the country where i'm from is you eat the meat and you spit out the bones and that's plain and simple, just like what you think it is. You eat the meat and spit out the bones or throw away the bones. Take what you need and discard the rest. Prime example, if somebody, if you're in the process of losing weight, you have this weight loss journey going on, and somebody say, girl, I see that you're trying to lose some weight. Mm-hmm, you're looking good, and I'm glad you're losing weight because... You've been wearing some stuff that's not all that flattering, especially in the back, girl. I'm glad you're trying to lose some weight. Maybe you can, you know, get you a man, get some clothes that fit you, girl. But you keep on. You keep doing your thing. I'm proud of you, girl. That's a sideways compliment. That's a backdoor compliment. And they know exactly what it is that they are doing. So to eat the meat and spit out the bones, how that work is recognize the fact that they're checking you out. They're watching you close enough, often enough, and long enough to notice that you are losing weight. So keep on keeping on. And all the other stuff about how your clothes fit and uh, maybe you can get a man, don't even, don't even bother with that. Leave that right there where it is. Because nine times out of ten, they ain't got nobody themselves and they're scared that you're going to grab up all the single men's. <laughs> That's what that is. Or they're in a relationship and they man ain't paying them no attention, no how. So they feel bad about themselves and they want you to feel bad about yourself. So just keep up the good work. And it might not be um, a weight loss situation. It could be anything. It could be how you raise your kids. It could be your relationship, your marriage, the way you keep your house. Some people will give you backhanded compliments anytime they can. Just eat the meat and spit out the bones, but still have that same reaction. Either say nothing or, mm, okay, thanks. And then whatever it is that they complimented you on, turn it up. Turn it up to 10. Oh, you want to watch me lose weight? Watch this. You think you sick now? Check me out in three months. You're going to be sick all the way to your stomach, honey. All right. And then the last um part to it is, the last part of how to take the medicine of truth is to evaluate yourself in that area. If people are regularly telling you something um, about yourself and it seems to be um, medicine or growth or they want you to know about it, recognize that you may need to really sit and think about what they're saying if they're talking about how you're always late and it's making you look unprofessional or you are always um causing a scene when we're out in public and nobody really wants to invite you to anything there might be some truth to that and you might need to recognize it um or if somebody really is concerned about the fact that you take a whole bunch of medicine and you might need to do something about it. 
real talk, or if your finances or your spouse, if everybody is saying it and they're saying it in a manner to where they want you to be informed and there's love and concern behind it, take a minute to evaluate it and see how much of the truth is really there. And if it is, you have to make the decision on if you want to make any type of changes or not. Time ain't slowing down for nobody. You can't go backwards. It'll be this time next year. And if you don't do anything about your situation, you'll still be in it. And it's a hurtful thing to be in the same place every year. And then you watch people elevate and, and you recognize the fact that if I had done something back then, I could be further along. That's all. I, I've, I've learned a lot by um, accepting the medicine of truth. So everything that I have just gone over is things that I have had to implement for myself because I kind of got tired of people telling me about myself and giving me medicine. Some of it was some bull jive. Some of it just, mm -mm, I ain't taking that because that ain't true and you know it. You just want to be seen and you just want to be heard and you want to belittle me. But some stuff was really the truth and I had to evaluate some stuff and it's it's a it's a life journey it's a life journey and um you never stop learning never stop growing but anyways that's about it thank you guys so much for stopping by be sure and check out my website BeverlyBozeman.com. See what kind of shenanigans I got going on over there. Also, you can go to YouTube and check out my About Her Ministry YouTube channel where I interview a whole lot of great women. Um, if you want to reach out to me, if you have any questions about um, what I just went over or just had questions in general, you can always go to my website, BeverlyBozeman.com and send me a message or you can just hit me up on messenger i'll be more than happy to share some information with you also if you don't know the lord jesus christ as your savior now is the time to um give him your life and i'm not trying to have church or anything like that and trying to um preach at anybody it's just it's just to me my experience is always better to have have God in your life and I will be more than happy to pray with anybody who needs prayer and um, giving your life to Christ is not a hard thing you just uh, you just say Lord I repent of my sins I acknowledge you acknowledge Jesus as the son of God who died for my sins and rose on the third day accept you as my savior and just confess that you are saved and that is it and find a church that teaches you the word from the Bible not just from a man's opinion and just ask God to lead you and guide you. And that's about it. Hey, I'm Barbara Jean. How you doing? And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Be sure and share this broadcast with your friends and family. And remember to release your genius. Pull off the impossible every day. Remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So be positive when you speak, queen.